Even as the Israeli government of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu works to expand West Bank settlements, a group known as the Hilltop Youth has long generated controversy, acting on the extreme fringes of the right-wing settler movement. These are the individuals who build settlement outposts without approval of the Israeli government and who have been tied to several cases of violence against Arabs. Our senior defense correspondent Shai ben -Ari spent time with some of them in the West Bank to hear what exactly is behind their movement and why for some, the attitude is changing. This is Tzvi Sukkot. He's 27 years old, married and expecting his fourth child any day now. Sukkot is one of the older members of what's known as the Hilltop Youth. The Hilltop Youth are groups of young Jews based in the West Bank who are typically responsible for setting up illegal settlement outposts. There's an outpost here called Magane Eretz that I'm in constant contact with every few hours. They have to deal with harassment and I try to get people off their backs, both the police and the Arabs. These youths have also been linked to dozens of cases of assault against Arabs, as well as vandalism and arson targeting Palestinian property. The incidents have come to be known as price tag attacks. For a time, this was a major security concern for Israeli authorities. But price tag attacks have largely dried up in recent years. Sukkot says that is partially due to a change in attitude among some of the hilltop youth. You know, there's things in your life that you're happy about and things that you're less happy about. I personally think that today the struggle is through different tools. I think that violence takes us backwards and not forwards. But I can understand where that behavior comes from, even if I don't totally agree with it. Some members of the group have even organized a new public outreach campaign on social media, designed to present a friendlier, funnier face for the movement. But is the change really that drastic? In July of 2015, three members of the Duwapsha family, two parents and their infant son, were killed in a suspected firebombing in the Palestinian village of Duma. Two Hilltop Youth members have been charged with planning and executing their murder. They are a Hamas family. If you ask them, we should all be thrown into the sea. So if they had an electrical short circuit and they were all burnt to death, I wouldn't have cried over it. While Sukkot says he rejects violence, that rejection is usually followed by the word but. The problem is anarchy. I don't think taking the law into your own hands is right. But there are those who grow up here and live through the attacks and feel that their blood is spilt in vain, and then a kid decides to act. That is the result. You have people stealing from farmers all across the country, Arabs raising their heads, crime in a lot of places, illegal construction in the Arab sector that nobody's doing anything about. And meanwhile, the entire district police force is occupied with some shack on a hill that some kids put up. Sukkot concedes that the Shin Bet, the internal security agency, is partially responsible for the drop in violence perpetrated by Jewish youths following a heavy crackdown. They have no restraints at all. In my opinion, that kind of conduct shouldn't be used against Jews in this country, certainly not against the Hilltop youth. He says that much of the credit belongs to a local religious leader. The rabbi here, Rabbi Ginsberg, has brought in different ways of thinking, different from the past, focusing on dialogue and such. Whatever the reason, many will be relieved that this particular issue is taking less of a toll, at least for now. Shai Ari, I-24 News, The West Bank.